Yes, the next type of bonding that we have to learn is covalent bonding or uh, that forms covalent compounds. So these are the things that you need to know. Covalent compounds are formed between non-metal and non-metals are usually found in group 4, 5, 6 and 7. Okay, what happens is they will form molecules okay, and the electrons are shared. Now, in covalent compounds, there is no such thing as ions, positive or negative ions. There is no ions involved. There's only atoms coming together to form molecules. So please take that in mind. Now, let's look at the first one. Now, let's look at water. Hydrogen is a non-metal, non-metal. Oxygen is a non-metal. So I've drawn the electronic configuration. Now, oxygen is in group 6, so outside has 6 electrons, 7, 7, 6 valence electrons. Now, oxygen is not stable, it needs to get 8 to get the noble gas structure. Now, 8 is a lucky number, that's what they want. So, in the case of hydrogen, hydrogen wants to become like helium, it needs one more. Now, that, what we learned in, in covalent is there is no uh, give and take, I can't give, you can't take. So, what happens is they have to share. So in covalent compounds, the principle is look for the lone pairs. This is the single and this is the single lone pair. And then what happens is this will join here. And look, there's another single one and another single one. So what happens is they will join. Okay, and how do you draw that? Okay, just shift it here. So when it joins, you have to orientate hydrogen joins to the single and the electrons is shared. Hydrogen joins to the other one and this is shared and that is how you get water. So from here, single electrons pair, single electrons pair and you get a covalent bond. This is a covalent bond, single covalent bond, one pair of electrons, check. Okay, let's look at the next one. Next one is ammonia. Now, ammonia gas, once again, first thing you do, check. N, nitrogen is in group 5, oxygen is a non-metal, so non-metal and non-metal definitely sharing. Now, let's draw nitrogen. Nitrogen is 2.5, so north, east, Two, five, north, east, sorry, north, south, east, west, and north again. So you are short of three. So you have three single and just nice, you have three hydrogen. How do you think you should draw? Yep, so hydrogen, one, two, and three. Does nitrogen now have eight electrons? So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And nitrogen now has a noble gas configuration. It is stable. The hydrogens are stable, and that's how they will form a compound. So how many covalent bonds are there? Covalent bonds, one. Covalent bond, and another covalent bond here. So in nitrogen, in sorry, in ammonia, there are altogether three covalent bonds. One, two, three. Three pairs of bonds. Okay, let's look at a harder example. Now nitrogen gas is N2. So what I do now is I know it's covalent because N is in group 5, it's a non-metal. Nitrogen has one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So principle again, look at the single and join the single pair electrons. So these two electrons will pair up. This single and this single electrons will pair up. And can you find any more? Yeah, one more here, one more here. So this will pair up. So you have a happy face. Okay, so if I pair up, what should I do? So the electrons should just, we should move the shift electrons together and join the molecule. So this is what you should have. Now take note, there are two pair electrons up there. These are not in play, but they will stay there. And please remember to draw it in your diagram. So all together, since you have three pairs coming together, you should have six electrons. One, two, three, four, five, 
six electrons. Now, one pair of electrons is considered a single bond. So now you have three pairs of electrons, and nitrogen therefore has three pairs. This is a triple covalent bond. So you have six electrons. Two electrons made up one bonding. Six electrons therefore make up a triple bond. Okay? Okay, let's look at the next one. Carbon dioxide. Carbon is in group four. Oxygen is in group six. Non-metal, non-metal, therefore is a sharing of electron. Now let's look. Now in a covalent compound, when you get something like that, uh, the final product or the final compound that should form should be something symmetrical. It should look very nice. You should not have two oxygen on, on the left or two oxygen on the right or, uh, or subsets of things here and there. Okay, it should be a nice line. So you should decide. Okay? Since you only have one carbon, therefore carbon should be in the center, two oxygen flanking the side. Okay, now, next thing, you have to share. So what should you do? You should look out for singles again, single electrons, single unpaired electrons. So you have a dot, you have a cross, this will form one pair. Okay, can you find the next pair? Yep, here, on the left. Good, any more pair? This is a single, this is a single, so this one will pair up with this, and this one will pair up with this. Now, remember, 2x here, 2x here, 2x here, 2x here does not come into play, so we should duplicate them on the diagram. You should remember. So I'll put the 2x first. 2x does not come into play. Okay, then look back. Okay, so this one will join together and they'll form one pair. This and this here will come together in the center and they'll form the next pair. These two and here, yeah, come together and form a pair. So if you look carefully, carbon dioxide looks like this. One line represents one bond, one X and one dot represents a bond, a single covalent bond. So carbon dioxide has double covalent bondings on both sides and they form one molecule. This is one molecule and it has three atoms inside. One molecule, three atoms inside.